Well, it's that time of year again. The holidays are upon us. I've got my mug of eggnog. It's actually coffee. And instead of doing a holiday gift guide or anything like that, because let's be honest, I think that we all have enough gear. I wanted to talk about something different. I wanna discuss New Year's resolutions for filmmakers. I am a sucker for New Year's resolutions. I just love the concept of a hard reset, wiping the slate clean, and just taking some time to consider both what you did in the past year and what you want to accomplish in the year to come. And when I say this, I'm not talking about any sort of toxic hustle culture sort of thing. I'm not gonna encourage anyone to rise or grind. What I'm talking about is just taking stock of some of the things that you wanna do and then setting some concrete goals on the 2024 calendar. If nothing else, it's just a nice opportunity to reflect on what's important to you and reorganize your priorities. I think that it can be really easy to just get swept up in everything that we have to do in our daily life and to just kind of end up going with the flow. But I find that thinking about things in terms of New Year's resolutions reintroduces a little bit more intentionality back into your life. Stopping every once in a while and taking stock is a good idea for anybody, filmmaker or otherwise. It's easy to get overwhelmed by remembering all the things that you didn't accomplish in the past year, or just simply focusing on all of the things that you wanna check off your list for next year. But I think it's a good idea to take a moment and just recognize everything that you did do the past year. Even if you didn't set out any grand resolutions at the beginning of the year, and even if what you accomplished seems like a tiny thing, we should all just take a moment and give ourselves a pat on the back because this year was hard for a lot of people. Just for me personally, this year I moved across country to LA, which was a huge, gigantic, difficult undertaking. But we made it, we found a great place to live and work, and a neighborhood that we love. I also survived by freelancing all year for the first time in like a decade. My income was a little bit more austere than I would normally like, but I managed to eke out a living and I'm excited to continue exploring freelance life next year. This may seem obvious, but it's impossible to accomplish something unless you have a stated goal. So write down some ideas of what you wanna do in 2024. Do you wanna make a short film? Do you wanna make a feature film? Do you wanna learn a specific program or save up enough money to buy a new camera? Whatever it is, try to make it a concrete thing that you can actually achieve. Instead of saying you wanna get better at After Effects, Say that you want to make a 30 second animation and then post it on Instagram. Make it a goal that you'll know once you've accomplished it. I have a friend who's really good at pushing people to aim a little bit higher than what they might be comfortable with. So if I told her that I made a film and I wanted to play three film festivals, she would be like, what if you said that you wanted to play 10 film festivals? It always kind of freaks me out to be nudged out of what I feel like is a comfortable scope for a goal, but it's actually really, really helpful to have somebody that pushes you to do this. So allow me to be that person for you and encourage you to follow this advice. Maybe trying to reach a little bit more than you thought you could with your goals. Maybe try setting a goal that you're not actually sure if you can achieve. Also, it needs to be said that your goal doesn't have to be about productivity. Your goal could be to focus on filmmaking less. Maybe you wanna spend more time with your family or focus on being less busy and stressed, or you wanna cultivate a yoga practice or something like that. These are all totally valid, good resolutions that I honestly think that more people should adopt. I unfortunately can't be the one to tell you what you wanna do, but I think it's worth taking some time to really think about and see what jumps out at you. Say that your dream has always been to make a feature film, but the idea of making one is so daunting and you have no idea where to begin. And whenever you start to think about it, you just immediately black out. What you need to do is break down that big goal into its constituent parts. When you do that, you'll begin to see that the huge unimaginable project of making a feature film is essentially just lots and lots of small tasks. You can make a flowchart or some other organizational structure, breaking down each step of the process into manageable concrete tasks. So let's say pre-production, and then you would make a bunch of subtasks like set a date to start shooting, find a location, make a schedule, etc. And then you would break down those tasks into even smaller subtasks. Like in order to find a location, you could say, look at locations on Peerspace, 
Go take photos of barns around town or whatever. I don't know, whatever your movie calls for. You can do this down the whole line until instead of having something like shoot a feature film on your to-do list, you've got a neatly delineated list of 180 things or whatever it might be, which add up to a bigger goal. So if you go down, check everything off the list, in the end, in theory, you'll have a film. There's a lot of great software that will help make this easier. I've used Notion, which is great for organizing things like this, but there's literally no shortage of others. Evernote, Monday, Apple Reminders, or you can even just use a good old paper notebook. So take your goals, break them all the way down into tiny bite-sized actions, and then just get started. If you're doing something like shooting a movie, setting a start date is crucially important. If I've got it in my mind that I'm gonna do something someday, there's a 100% chance that that thing is not happening. If you're anything like me, you absolutely need the pressure of a deadline. I personally don't have kids, but people that do tell me that you're never actually ready to have a kid. One day it just is born and you just do it, whether you feel ready or not. And I think making a movie is the exact same thing. You will never be like, well, I am 100% ready to make this film. If you waited for that day, then you would be waiting for the rest of your life. Instead of waiting until you feel ready, you just have to get a date on the calendar that seems reasonable and then start doing everything as if you were gonna start shooting on that day. So if you wanna make a feature film in 2024, get a date on the calendar, even if it feels totally arbitrary, and just start acting accordingly. And the good news is by doing this now, you've got plenty of time to get ready. Maybe making a feature film is not your goal. Maybe you want to learn how to edit on DaVinci Resolve or you want to watch every film in the Criterion Collection. Whatever it is, get that date on the calendar. The final and what I think is maybe the most important aspect of setting any goal, but especially a New Year's resolution, is to put yourself on notice. Announce to people what your goal is and when you're gonna do it by. So if the example is you're gonna make a movie, make an Instagram or Facebook post saying, hey everybody, I'm gonna be shooting a new movie in such and such month in 2024. This step is of the utmost importance because if you put it out into the world that you're gonna do something, you now basically have to do it. If you cop out and you don't follow through, you'll be really embarrassed next winter when your friends are like, hey, whatever happened to that movie you were gonna make? Make it so that the consequences of not doing it will be so painful that you'll have no choice but to follow through. Never underestimate the power of humiliation. It is one of the greatest motivators known to mankind. So once you have a date set for your goal, get it out into the world and start telling people that you know. They'll be excited to hear what you've got cooking, sure. But more importantly, you'll be on notice and you'll hopefully be held accountable by the fear of total social humiliation. My goal for next year is to finish shooting a feature film that I've been shooting on nights and weekends this year. And I'm also gonna finally start a project that I've been kicking around for way too long. So 2024 is the year when I put the rubber to the road and get started. I hope that you all will keep me accountable and appropriately roast my ass if I don't follow through. This is the last video of the year for me and I just wanna thank you all for watching. Starting this YouTube channel has actually been a goal of mine for a long time. And this year I finally got over the fear and just did it. So I wanna thank you all for coming along for the ride. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing. And I hope that you all enjoy the holidays with your families and friends. Hope you watch some good movies. And I'm excited to see you all in 2024. Happy New Year.